I got a special request here from one of our donors. It reads, an intriguing offer for your listeners. I will triple the standard price for every Advent burger they can deliver to this location in the remote territories. Name's a bit scribbled. It's hard to read. Tegan, Tegan, Tilgan, Tigan. Guy's not winning any awards for penmanship, I'll tell you that. That was pretty funny. Welcome back, this is Dr. Obsidia. This is Long War II, War of the Chosen. And uh, looks like Tigan is trying to get some of those Advent burgers after all. So, welcome back. So today we've got a mission uh, that we need to run here. We've got Operation Lone Shroud, where we are trying to protect our resistance assets. We're going to have to run this. They're going to be dropping in enemies, including Mox. Setting course for the Brazilian Corridor. Our C team did really well last time, and we did have some people come back from a mission recently, so we should be able to put together a really decent uh, B team type crew. Let me throw them together and show you what I get. Okay, so the team's being led by Outlaw. She's carrying Thorax, the new coil gun weapon, Goss uh, long rifle there. She's still carrying the enhanced Shadowkeeper. Xcon is leading the team uh, with her bondmate there. I guess Outlaw is the one that's covering everybody, and Xcon is the one who's trying to stay a little bit back. She's not that good actually with the aim, even though she's trying to go that route. But still, I gave her a good weapon that should help her a little bit with the aim. Razor back there. Got the Gauss scatter gun on Packy. I equipped that with some add-ons there. He's got the Predator armor. Liberator doesn't have any skirmisher armor, but I did build him a fusion ripjack because he does use the ripjack for uh, various things: retribution, wrath, and uh, he's going to be continually going with the ripjack there. I think. Dirt is coming because he's got his bondmate here, Doctor Jekyll, Thomas Mertens. So dirt a dirt. He's bringing the mag long rifle and a laser pistol to help him with some aim there. Dr. Jekyll here has the shredder. He's got the nightmare coil gun, cannon, coil cannon. Wormwood is coming. He's got solace to keep people from going nuts. And of course he can use his insanity as well. We, we would like to have a better Siamp, but uh, for the time being, we're stuck with that one. The Joker is a little bit geared up. He took the exosuit this time. He's going to be running with a coil gun. He's got some grenades and the acid grenade. And he's got that return fire with the pistol. But I hope he doesn't get shot at too much. He doesn't have a whole lot of hit points. Let's see how they do. Mostly they just need to deal with things that are dropping in anyway. So hopefully they can keep things under control. We do not have a specialist, unfortunately. Sky Ranger deployed. There, is, there are no specialists that are either uninjured or not on, already on a mission. So that may say something about the rookies because we could definitely use a specialist. May have to put somebody in uh, as a specialist trainee. We're gonna have the resistance members here to help us out and like I said before they tend to be doing very well compared to XCOM so there they are way on the other side of the map of course and they're being led by Lanky here, who is, eh, really nothing special. But we want to get these guys forward. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. I'm on it. Move it. Sten gun is pretty useless. Only three hit points. Keep your guard up! Uh, shard gun. 
not sure. as useless, but need to get close to use it. <laughs> right. That was pretty. I'm still on singing. It. I'm on it. Ah, uh, scatter gun. These are good against things if I'm gonna run up and shoot them, but normally with these guys I just hang back. All right. Let's see, we probably should move Packy forward first. Fast! I think I'd rather him just move up and take position rather than have to do anything else. And probably the same with Liberator. Just move up and get a good position. Moving out! See, they just can't get in good cover here. We'll get Dr. Jekyll ahead. at least overwatching with his big gun Stop. there. Uh, stutter mag. Oh, I'll do more than that. Might as well bring out the drone since we've got a turn to do it with. Joker's really uh, always in a line, that's why. So Outlaw, of course she would like to get up high. Oh, she could. She could get up high right here. Let's do Already that. X-Con can move really far as well and just uh, take cover with the Ever Vigilant. So let's get her up here. No. Dirt can stay with the team, I think. I'm all over it. And Joker still does not have any ability to get close to anything. We'll just kind of... <laughs> Keep him back in the corner here. See what happens. This drone. No, let's get it up there. Mostly just for stunning. You can't repair anything. Can't hack anything. Advent reinforcements inbound. With luck, we might get a couple shots off. These orange guys are usually pretty tough. Uh -oh. We have a score to settle. Nobody took a shot? Nobody could see that? Oh, come on now, guys. Well, let's see what our snipers can see first. No, not you guys. She's got a couple shots on the Advent Vanguard. Let's go ahead and take that. That only grazed. I think I'm going to let her try to finish him off. Not much of a hit. Precision to try to kill him. That doesn't give him a sure kill. The Deadeye does, but I think a regular shot... Nope, a regular shot won't do it either. Okay, let's try for the Deadeye at 83. There she goes. X-ray neutralized. That'll give her a free reload. Let's do this. Um. Hmm. Well, Libertor can actually run up here. He shreds too, so that's kind of nice. A little bit worried about him getting flanked, but I think he's got enough cover behind him to be okay. Oh, didn't realize he was overwatching. I guess he didn't shred. I, that would have been the other one. Hit and run. Probably his best bet is to just shoot again. Dirt's got an 86 on the mech, so go ahead and take that dirt with your AP round. Nice. You know that was good. Uh, he gained right off that. Okay, they wanted to make sure I saw that. It took forever to do anything. Uh, we could run and gun here. Um, get up here maybe and take a shot. I'm not, not really sure where it would be a good position for him. Maybe here? If he gets the kill, Let he'll be untouchable. Cover me! Should get this kill. 
Ja. You were no match. Let's overwatch him. These guys I don't want really want to deal with just yet. We've got more reinforcements incoming too, so we do have to worry about them. Need to get her over here for covering fire. Dr. Jekyll. Get him moving up. Again with the overwatch. How delightful. Yeah, this is a chance for insanity. Wormwood. Missed. 55% missed. Ooh, this could be it's bad. A little bit sad. Oh well. Ooh. I'm trusting you here. Get behind some high cover. Got it covered. This Sten gun is uh, not going to be very useful to us. Laser rifle might work. Mostly they're just going to be kind of moving up the high cover, trying to hold position. Right. Roger. In case anything bad happens. Roger. And they start uh, having Roger. a hold of the position. They want to be at least behind high covers. So they can last a little bit longer. Get him behind the truck here, so at least he's a little bit of a harder shot. This Sten gun is... Okay. I guess we'll just move over here. There's not much he can do. All right. They dropped in over where I think that portal group came in too, so I've got Mox over there and that portal group. got eyes on an advent position. Yeah, we've got a berserker. Wow, that was actually a pretty good hit for that little gun. Well, see? Man, we need to recruit these guys. Nice hit, though. Even though it was only a graze, that still hit hard. Ah, uh, lost the drone. I guess if I move, move the drone one more over. More of them coming in. 40%, she can take it. Killed him. There is no mastery, only constant improvement. Let's see. Okay, just shut up. Let's see. Back so we're gonna be careful here. Joker needs to get into play as well. I see you. Oops. Well, he got into play, didn't he? Disorienting. With the insanity. Kann mich nicht konzentrieren. Disorientation. Come back to this group here. She's got a long single shot to make at the Elite Lancer, so they're going to let her go ahead with the chance to credit to. There we go. Oh, 24 damage. Hostile target down. She's kind of in a good spot just because she can sit here. I'm going to let her steady weapon. She can sit there and there's really not anything closing in on her. So they're closing on the rest of us. So there's something we can kind of deal with a little bit. Liberator here. Um, I better come back to him. Dirt doesn't have a shot. That's unfortunate. Neither does Dr. Jekyll. He doesn't have really good cover anywhere either. He's kind of creeping up. Oh, oh, oh! 70% on the Berserker. Yep. There's a 12 point damage hit there. That'll make it mad. Mike Packy. Packy's gonna go over here. He should be um, untouchable. As the next attack against him will miss. So we're going to go ahead and take this shot right here. That killed it. I don't even know how much damage I'm that so did. so fucking good at this. 
He's not lying. He is good at it. Let's see. I know you guys need to take your turns. Just hold on. This is between Liberator Inbound. and Dirt, I think, are the ones that are remaining. That's a long shot that he cannot take. We can slash somebody, too. I think uh, pulls him to us. Yeah, let's pull the heavy rocket here. I don't want him firing that thing. Come over here and get yourself slashed. Another minion down. Hmm. He's going to shield, and that's fine. Uh, I think I'll just run him all the way Copy up. That. All right, so probably be able to kill this my guy with the weapon. soul fire. So let's do that and clear off the map a little bit more. It's always a good thing when the I, I definitely got Haven people get kills, even if it's one of the leaders of the Haven group. I'm going in. I'm doing this. I be standing where you wanted me, man. I can't believe there'd be no better way. I'm on. Let's spread them out a little bit here. Hey, where I come from, two's a crowd. They can get behind Let's high get cover. Going. Maybe be a little bit more helpful up front. Check. Check. Dropped in a little closer to the Haven people. Makes it a little a little hard to take them down. Advent troops spotted. Cause we just killed that guy. Yeah, see. Now I might need to fall back on their shotguns and things. But their back is to to dirt and to uh, outlaw. So they might be able to get a pretty good crit on their back. Let's see what our snipers can see here. Outlaw can't see anything, that's unfortunate. What about dirt, what can he see? He's got a long shot of the sentinel, or a shield bearer. I think the sentinel. 62, oh and he missed pretty badly. That was way Negative right. Damage. All right, um, let's see if we can try to hold these guys off here. 65, yeah. 65 and Sandy. Right. Try to get control of that weak engineer there. Only four hit points. Disorientation is something. I think we're going to have to throw this flash instead. This, this might be a good opportunity to flash all of them. Yeah. We'll see what the other team can do to help out first and what the rest of them have left over. Sten gun here. I think we can run the scatter gun up. Oh, it's gonna be bad. Because they're overwatching. Um I can go ahead and flash this entire group. Because that way we take that. I think one of them's overwatching. I guess I should have checked that. Now that I think about it, I don't. Yeah, one of them's not overwatching. Who is? Oh. That guy. I'm losing my patience. Can we see him now? Yes, we can. Well, we can see him. We'll try for the insanity. Be nice to get control of him. Panicked? That's all right. We don't have to worry about him now. That'll allow Joker to maybe move right up on him. Back to you guys. Settle down there. Um, her best bet is probably just to overwatch and see if something moves that she's going to be able to see. Ex-con. Again, we've got this problem over here. Backy's got lightning reflexes. He does not have the ability to shoot once he moves, though.
Maybe move up here, maybe. He could actually get really close. He's got the, um, what is it? Not up close and personal, but the, uh, well, I guess close encounters isn't going to cut it. Because the, uh, what is the one that they shoot when you're really close to them? I guess he doesn't have that. Um, mm. let's just put him right here. Fuck, move! He should, oh, he didn't trigger. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, we can just come in here and slash him. I don't know where that'll put him, though. We'll do it. Going up. Put me right next to him. That's good. That's inside the building is what I wanted. I can't defend anymore. Vengeance. The Overwatch removed. 100%. There we go. Target eliminated. Hit and run. Complete. Free reload. Let's take cover in this corner here. Come on! I don't think Mertens is going to be uh, 0%. He doesn't even need to take that shot. Let's get him moving up even more. Try to help out the other team. Now she is uh, able to move up as well. And she might be able to actually help cover. So is let's get her moving out. One little spy. I think that's the rest. These guys are all that's left now. Okay. So where's that shard gun at? I think it's right here. Yeah. I don't want to go here because I'm afraid he's going to shoot me. <laughs> he got a good shot on me around the corner too. But here might be good. Sure. 77. Good hit. 10 damage. Might actually be able to knock these guys out. Laser rifle here. Uh, we'll wait a second on that because here's the Sten gun. Alright. Sten gun. Ooh, we got choices to make. Let's see who else we can get up here. We got the scatter ray. I don't know if the scatter ray is going to be able to hit uh, the flank. Oh, it does. Okay, we'll take out the engineer with the scatter ray. She's more beautiful dead than she ever was alive. Okay. So he can only see this one, so we're going to go ahead and try to kill him. Take that! 60% of the spin. Nice hit. Maybe uh, overwatch it? So maybe he's gonna move, so we may be able to get a good hit on him. Oh, he, the other one moved first. That's unfortunate. Good call, though, by the AI. Good call to bring them some hit points. Oof. These low lives are like giving me a friends. Actually, uh, let's go back to the Haven. And the reason is I think we could get some kills here with the Haven people. So let's try the 25%. Of course. Enemy is still up. Don't think this is going to do it. Four to six, and it's six. Let's go ahead and hit it. I mean, if it works, it'd be pretty awesome. But if it doesn't, we're just going to have to blast through that armor. That uh, didn't. It's worth a try. Where's our shard gun here? Scatter ray. Well, she still can't see anything, but she's going to overwatch anyway. X-Con. Yeah, he gets a free shot on him. Now, Libertor's actually got a flanking shot. Dirt's... Yeah, we can clean them up, but I don't want to do that with the X-Con team. I'd rather these guys try to do it so that we can put other people in overwatch. That would be the, the ideal thing to do. Now, these guys with the shotguns can't get close enough. But we do have somebody right here with a flank shot. 
and reload first. Okay. There we go. The bullet in my head brought me to you. The bullet in my head brought me to you. Could move and fire with the shard gun. It's not gonna work. I think a single flash is probably gonna be effective enough. We're not gonna be able to kill him with the Haven people. And he's got pretty good cover from XCOM too, so. Fine. Roger. I'm on it. Twenty two percent. I was just gonna watch it. in case something drops in. Um I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this little crew right here. Fine. I haven't used smoke in a long time. Where's Mertens at? There he is. I think I'll let Jekyll move. Exit ramp so that Mertens can take his place and get a shred. Only 50% right there. Look at that. He hits on these really weird odds. We'll let Packy take that shot for the kill because he gets untouchable, and I think it's still up. Oh, he got close encounters too. Come on, I don't got all day. I get right up on him. Did that miss? Big surprise. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Um, I wish we could get up here with him. We're gonna go ahead and overwatch. Wormwood. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna be able to see from there. He cannot overwatch it. Joker can overwatch. Xcon's got a bad shot there. Uh, let's move her up. Let her go into her auto overwatch. There we go. Ooh, we got two groups coming in. That's not cool. That one kind of fell a little bit behind XCOM. Oh, they should get lit up though. They don't have a lot of firepower right there. Not no armor on any of these guys, really. One pip, I think, on that whole group. Hit. Kill. Good hit by the Haven. What the? Okay, here we go. Come on, Outlaw. She got a big hit there, 12 damage. Hostile terminated. Not a teleport. What is that? Oh. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Yes. That's too bad. That's too bad. All right. Now they're among us, but she's got some good shots here. I think we need to see what she can do. She can take out that elite trooper. A heavy mech would probably be a good first shot too, but we got that biotic guy over here too that was running around the Asimar. Asari. Oh man, I'm gonna hit him first. He's the furthest out. Target neutralized. Come back to her. Got a mech that's on Overwatch too, so we need to have somebody in the back deal with the mech. He doesn't have any good shots, really. The best shot is the mech. I'll let him take it. That'll knock the mech's overwatch off and give us a chance to deal with some things. All right. Um, we 
we should try to see what we can do with our team back here first. 33% on the damage. We'll try for the gunner here. 25% insanity. Actually, that hit. That's good. That's really good. Good to go. Reload. 45%. I think the shard gun would be good to fall back sure. and shoot him. Kill, but I think the stun gun can finish it off. Blast it. 45, that's not good. She got the kill. Jeez, those Haven people are just awesome. 40%. You get that hit? No. Damn it. Can't live forever. Laser rifle. Come back to you in a second. Check. Go right here. Low cover, but shotgun really close. Boy, 58%. No, they're failing me a little bit on that. Uh, special. We can go right next to him and shoot him. This guy's... Uh, no, that's probably going to get us killed. 22% is just not worth anything. Roger! Just maybe throw a grenade at somebody here. Nobody in range. Yeah, let's come back there. Okay. Let's see what the rest of the team can do first. So she... Mostly I'd like to clear the ones out in the back first. And she can just move and overwatch. So we'll come back to her near the end. Mertens can suppress, so we need to come back to him by the end as well. We'll drop uh, inside the building. Maybe go for insanity. A trooper. 55%. Okay. These books never helped anyone. Trying to get control of somebody. Oh, missed. Damn it. We're gonna come inside the building here too. We'll let him take the mech down. I'm so glad I get to see you die in my arms. Packy. Packy can run and gun, so I think he's gonna run and gun and hit this guy right here. Let's do this! I need some cover! Trying to clear out stuff behind us. That's an easy kill. Packy! Hail to the chief! I'm Hail out. to the chief, baby. Alright. 89%. Yeah, that's a flanking shot. He needs to take it anyway. Gives him the free hit. Oops. Oh. Dr. Chickle. Got a couple still alive back here, too. Just overwatch this one. I think her best bet is actually to try to knock out that trooper there. Let's do it. Yeah, because he was flanked for her. Target eliminated. I'll give her a reload. Let's rock. We've got Liberator who's got one. Well, he's got one shot. One move, one something. We've got Dr. Jekyll who can suppress or even move back here and light this one up. I think I'm going to have him fall back and get point blank here and just light, light him up. Combat knife? 
Two to four damage. He may not get it, though. 50% with that big gun. Combat knife is an 88% to hit. Well, that puts up on... That's a lot of pressure on her. She can give him a bonus action, maybe. She cannot. Oof, what are we gonna do? Dr. Jekyll. 50% chance to kill him, or you're gonna get hit. Well, you're good at those low percentages. Let's see if you can get him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you shot. We're just gonna say that it was so close that he pushed the barrel of the gun to the side as he was firing. <laughs> oh, okay. I think Libertor can maybe just come inside. See, the thing is I'm worried this guy will come up here and take shots at them too. So, could set him on fire. I don't know that it would with his alibative hit points, though. We could just go, you know, right next to him and sit there, but I think that's not a good call either, because he'll move and shoot us. He's going to come out of his disorientation. So it's probably a good call just to get her in... Well, she could actually grant an extra move to somebody, too. She's, she's got three targets, uh, all of which are, well, one, two, three, all, th all of which are quite dangerous. And she's only got one covering shot that she can use. She can open fire with a bad percentage shot. She could um, give a bonus command, which is not that useful if she gives, I think she'll give it to Liberator here. And then she'll go into Overwatch and try to cover. Oh, she's out of actions. So that was a mistake. Okay, well, Libertor's got an extra chance here, so. Move him here. Shoot. 89%. Took off his. Uh, Protected. Uh, things happen that I didn't want to happen anyway. Let that give him another. Ouch. Let that would give him another chance to use his hit and run. He got a grazing hit, so that was nice. Not enough, though. And we paid for that. Lost Katya. Merton's. He's okay. He's stunned. We've got Solus. Multiple hostiles advancing on our position. Ready. Ready. Reload. Dirt has no shot. Let's see what the other sniper has. Eighty-five. Um. Dead eye is 83. Let's take it. We need to knock him out. He's getting far enough away from the group that it's hard to hit him. That's good. Libertor took a big Hostile hit there, so. Down. Um, well, she, she's shooting pretty far away. She can steady now. Got a 60% chance. 34. Let's take the 60. Killed. Good. He never came out of his stun there. Let her overwatch even though she's flanked, because Packy can just, uh... Ooh, he can't. Libertor needs to get into high cover and just... Hide for the minute. We'll come back to him in a second. 16 is not going to cut it. We'll overwatch. Wormwood, Solus on Dr. Jekyll. any problems with him. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's back. He's very much a wild card in this game. Oh, he just can't get up there. But I think Dr. Jekyll can take him down. <laughs> Let's not get that close this time. Maybe that gun is uh Coming. needs a little bit of range on it. 66%. Come on! There we go. I need a little bit of range on that thing. Do watch. That won't do that. I do so well. Yeah. Trigger. What do we got here? We could just hit him with a grenade. Let's just toss a grenade at him. Knock his Overwatch off. Let one of the shotguns take him out. Yeah, the scatter ray. Roger. Oh, I thought that would be cover. Oh well. It's all right. What'd you expect? Don't see any reason to feel bad about it. Yeah. I'm fucking waiting. Let's bring him inside. Forward. Toker hasn't used any of his grenades yet. Absolutely. Scanning. Anybody need reloads? Good to go. We need this place locked down. Yeah. You're right. Haven's really helping us out. Oh, uh oh. That's not good. Those are some pretty heavy duty things that just showed up. Lots of outgoing shots, but not a whole lot of damage. And an even even a miss. It's still moving. That's bad news right there. Alright. Mertens. Ooh, don't blow that up. Oh man, look at this mess. This was not something I expected to see. We'll take the free reload. Let's see what we can do with the insanity. I don't think uh, basically use it on anybody. It looks like everybody's 45%. Except for the mutant. Let's use it on this Andromedon who's kind of far from the other group. Missed. Right? Damn it! Well, then the question is, should we who should we hit? We'll wait and see what happens here. Him back Way up to a far more interesting place. Probably, uh, let's see, hit two or three of them here. Well, this would be an okay shot, I think. Let's shoot this way, too, but I don't. Oh, lots of bad stuff going on here. I think I'm going to go this way to try to protect the sniper a little bit. That was not the greatest shot. They, they fell... They came in far enough away from my Haven guys that they probably can't help. close with Liberator. I think it's a big risk, but um, take a shot. He doesn't have any 
real good shots there anyway. Oh, Dr. Jekyll. There's really not many places you can go that's safe. What about Outlaw? What does Outlaw got? She's got double tap. We can shut down one of these guys, I think. She's got a good shot here. She's got a good kill on the Muton Elite, but I would kind of like to give that to Packy if possible. Let's see if Packy can do something with, uh, whoops, Muton Elite here. He can get up on there. He's going to take three shots, though, if he does that. Here, Let's I'm going to move him there anyway. Boy. He's got a lot of hit points, and he's got the stasis. We're going to go ahead and fortify him. Let's shoot it. I hope you learned your lesson. He's got close encounters too. Wow. Um, can he stun something? 74 to stun that guy. That one, I don't know. 40%. This one's probably not a big problem. This one's probably the biggest threat because it's close to Liberator. Let's try to stun it. Nice shot, Packy. I guess we can move our Haven people forward. Step it off. Okay. Even if they give a tiny bit of support, it might be helpful. 44 is a flank. <laughs> Dead. Shit. I'm on it. Check. gonna have to double tap. Outlaw does not really um, have good shots right now. If she... This one's probably gonna shoot... This is what I think. He's probably gonna shoot at Packy. He's gonna shoot at Packy. I'm gonna try to knock him out. Uh, and this one's just probably possibly gonna shoot at Packy. So I think if she runs up here, she'll at least get some covering fire. Dr. Jekyll can actually fall back here, maybe take a shot at this one, try to strip its armor off, finish off its armor. He would actually be better to suppress if he had to, but I don't think he's got enough bullets for a suppression either. If he just reloaded and stayed there, he might get killed. I'll move him over here, I think. Come on! He's got a couple options for a shot, but he's going to take this one. 64. There we go. Shredded and grazed. That's okay. I think we're going to go ahead and soul mind merge with Liberator. Just keep him safe. He is a little bit hurt there. She's going to want to double tap. The first shot will go here. Hopefully we get the kill. And we did. The, the robot is not nearly as dangerous as the other one. And the precision shot at this one might actually get the kill if it crits. Yeah. There we go. Get her reload on. Ready to engage. Now, Dirt's in a little bit of danger. He doesn't have a lot of hit points to survive a big hit, so I think it could teamwork, but I don't think he has the ability to reload a fast reloader. I would have used it. I think Dirt's just going to fall back. And, uh,. A pistol shot? No, let's give him a reload on Ready his sniper rock. rifle. He's really low. Okay. Could be worse. That's what we wanted right there. Shall I hit you again? Okay. Point blank. There's that untouchable. Now he's in trouble, but... Pressure appears to be getting to you. Yeah, we expected him to come up. He's got the fortify. 
That worked. These things aren't that accurate. Retribution. Come on, get him! Yeah. That might miss then. <laughs> Don't think it could get any better than that. Yeah. yeah. We're going for this shot here, 63. Probably should have let Mertens take the shot first, which was a mistake. She needs to reload. Mertens is going to have to reload. He needs to shred that armor. 60%. There we go. Good job. Oh, shit. Wormwood can try to take control of them. You made your second mistake. You stuck around. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. Missed? Okay. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy. We reload. Hey, Got an acid grenade we could toss right in there if we had to hit them both. Yeah, this is a 100% chance. Let's get him moving. Come on, I'll show you how it's done. Liberator needs to uh, take a little bit different position here. If we can uh, actually, let's see. No, no, no. Liberator may be able to just blow this up, but no, it's going to hit. But I think he's got Fortress, doesn't he? Yeah, so he's okay. If fall back with with. Uh, you back here. I think that's fine. Joker will be safe, and Libertor can detonate. Well, actually, he gets a free shot, but then he wouldn't be able to blow it up either. Somebody else could blow it. Doesn't have to be Libertor. Could actually let uh, one of our Haven people blow it if they can see it. I'm gonna head there. Yeah, let the Haven blow it up. Let Libertor take his shot once it's shredded a bit. I think everybody's safe. Yeah, it's okay because he's got Fortress. That did shred and it did kill. Slight shred. So Mertens uh, is done, right? I, I can't remember if I moved him, if I shot with him. Yeah, he's out of actions. I think Dirt should take this shot, 77, because he's got armor piercing. Good hit. I'm probably going to let Outlaw finish it off. Oh, she can't see it. Well, she's got this shot, so that's the only one she's going to be able to take. So let's let her take it. Good kill. Target eliminated. Oh, steady weapon. I'll go. Oh, Lanky actually uh, can try the insanity. Only 27. Let's go ahead and just the mind is take willing. him down a step. I would rather somebody over here finish. Let's let uh, Joker finish him off, maybe. These things are nasty, aren't they? 65, yeah, take that. Good hit. There's those havens again. Roger. 62 or 62, we'll take the 62 close to Libertor because he gets a shot at it. Oh, missed. Fudge. Fudge. 
Roger. Scatter ray is pretty sh far out for a shot right now. 36 or a tw let's take the 36, why not? Yeah, it's too far. Crap. Libertor should be able to kill this with just his whiplash here. Yeah. Target eliminated. I'll take the 69% chance shot there too. Wormwood's the last one. Wormwood, uh, just fall back. You're no good against mechs anyway. Alright. That round went very well, considering. Because this thing's nowhere near anybody. Gonna run up on Packy? What are you thinking? Packy, you know what to do. No problem. You like to taste Status the blood? confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. <laughs> Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. 33 enemies. Only one wounded soldier. That was Liberator. That last group that came in was a pretty big, nasty threat. And we handled them really well, considering. And if it wasn't for Packy's Untouchable, I wouldn't have taken the chance to run him in there. But because we... Uh, we're able to give him his fortify and untouchable and put him in harm's way. Everybody missed. Will be honored by the speaker this evening. All citizens without a valid work exemption are required to attend. Really need to get a Siamp, uh rank two or three. Just not getting the mind controls that we used to. But I mean, of course, a lot of people are sending in are just rookies or lobies, but. It would be nice to get a mind control, you know, that definitely turns things around. That takes away one of their enemies, or one of their guys, basically, puts him on our side for, for firepower. They don't hit that hard, but every enemy that would have shot at ours is now going to probably take a shot at their buddy. Especially since he's in a position for them to shoot at. Because he's taking cover from us when we mind control him. So mind control is a pretty big thing to use. So is hack, and I didn't have good hacks. I did have two psionics, but I mean the disorient is great. Work out there, Commander. We're one so I'll take that. Taking back our planet. Panic is really great because it takes them out. It's basically a stun for a round. Of course they hunker, but so dirt. Packy gained nice. Doctor Jekyll gained up. He looks pretty tired. He's in the yellow there. He did do a lot of running for his heavy weapon he's carrying there. Jack and Wormwood both gained. No items recovered. Probably should have used the Fulton Harness, but we were using most everybody right up to the end, too. Except for at the very end, we could have used Packy, but uh, hold it held off on Packy, so I guess I should have done that. All right. Patrick McGrary. He's looking very strong. He's all the way at the top here. Uh, so he's got 42 AP to use as well. Two additional points of damage with his primary weapon. He just is, hits super hard. Um, this is uh, what I was kind of thinking of doing. Anyone who um, fire a free react shot with your primary weapon at any visible enemy within four tiles who moves or fires. And if he gets close enough and fires, he's you know able to do that. Also, hit and run is super nice. Run up, shoot, run away. Uh, and then he gets the untouchable as well. Well, first I need to take the last tier. I don't like the cone-based stuff. As you know, chain lightning is good if he ran down that path. It's going to be lethal. He's going for the kill to buff his untouchable. Now he's got 42 AP to spend. Kill zone is useless for him. Guardian with a shotgun is useless. Uh, I think pretty much everything here is pretty weak. If I'm going to pick something out of this group, it would be hit and run because it gives him an additional action, or close combat, which gives him a free reaction shot with his primary weapon against anything that does anything within four tiles. So he can basically run up into the middle there and uh, take a free shot anytime something closes on. Whereas this one, he actually has to get into a position where he flanks or exposes. But this would only give him five remaining. It would give him a pistol. Or is Art was fire back with his arc thrower? Really? Do they really shoot back with the arc thrower? With 
this one, he'd have uh, 21 more points remaining, so we could take another lower tier thing, such as uh, extra conditioning, so he can run and gun more, so he can use his hit and run more, and his untouchable more, because <laughs> he is going to hit hard. Um, I think taking hit and run and close combat specialists together would be really nice, but of course that's expensive. That would be 58, and he would be into the XCOM AP, but I don't know that he really needs to do that. I think hit and run plus the uh, cooldown faster on extra conditioning is what he probably wants to do. Because then he can run all the way up. Shoot with his um, run and gun, and I think he can still do hit and run. Or it's a taking a standard shot, so I guess hit and run or run and gun is not going to do that. I thought they'd go together, so they're different. Different path. The other option is to take 5% critical chance so he crits more or even bring him on. I don't know, I think I'm going to take. Run and gun, probably. That is powerful. I mean, it does give you two shots on your turn, and you can hunker or move. You basically get another action. Reload. But those combat specialists is pretty tough, too. However, I don't think it crits. Do hit and run. That's way too expensive. We've got 21 points. It's anything this tier or lower. Unless I want to spend a ton of points. Hard target's not bad. 20. They're uh, plus 5 dodge. His dodge is already 10. And making him a lot harder to kill for every enemy he sees is is nice grazing hits and things like that especially plus untouchable and then he gets in there hard targets nice um, the killer instinct and, and extra conditioning kind of go together I don't know I think I'm gonna take extra conditioning so that he can run in there and get those big shots very close because that gives him untouchable too if he has to run really far then he can keep his untouchable up you know more often which is key and of course he can run around and hit and run whenever he's not when he's not so gives him a little bit more versatility I don't think they work together take an action after dashing after a standard shot he is making a standard shot so maybe it'll work hit and run right after run and gun maybe I'm just talking through something I don't need to so Anyway, that used up some of my uh, XCOM AP, but only a little, like five, I think. So that was no problem. Spikey's got ten days out. Dirt. Dirt's running down the path here. He finally gets his precision, which is nice. other stuff he's not too interested in, although that rapid reaction with the overwatch is what he wants to save up for. <laughs> that would be pretty epic if he ever gets that far. Alright, uh, Wormwood. Oh, okay, he's got to go in the tank, but I think the tank is currently full. Dr. Jekyll. Dr. Jekyll um, is looking to suppress people now. He's moving down the suppression line here. Carrying the Shredder ammo, I could give him Shredder, he's got 18. Uh, once he gets cool under pressure, he gets that Overwatch buff, which is really nice. Uh, I think I could probably save it, I don't know. Shredder is not that great, but it is nice if he's got... He loses the uh, Shredder ammo, that allows him to free up a spot for another kind of, of ammunition there. But uh, we'll hold off on that. He's looking like he might need a combat PCS. It's kind of mobile, though. He does things he probably shouldn't be doing. Uh, Joker. Free Flashbang. Protector.
five here for firing your pistol. Your first action no longer draws or ends your turn. So he's going to be, he was my pistol guy. So I'm going to go ahead and keep running him down both of those paths there, which is kind of interesting. Never had a pistol guy yet in this. Uh... Okay, so he's going to have to go in the tank too. All right, is that everybody? Yep. Tank is full. Nobody to put in these slots here. Everybody's training over here. We've got uh, Garza training and Pete Murray's rabbit. He's training. Today's on the autopsy. And we're still researching the gas grenade too. We need to keep trying to make contact here so we can get our people in there. Setting course for the East African sector. We failed on our avatar project reduction, so that's bad. Recruited some people. Donnie Peterson is Dimension Breaker. He is now back. We only got two people in this place right here. I think we need to move them over to recruit. <laughs> completely. I think they're full. Full. I'm gonna move him over to recruit. Okay. Some of these places are desperately in need of, of people. I'm worried about this. If this ticks, uh, we'll have like 48 hours, I think, or something, or 72 hours to get that. And we need to put people into the location, too. We may have to go in not at 100% infiltration, which this is really bad. This would to be an important step forward. As if the typical muton wasn't aggressive oh, enough. This hulking beast seems dangerous even in death. I will be more than happy to dispose of it once I file my report. Permanent removing of that is kind of painful. I'll leave uh, protects wear and inflicts damage on the melee, which is kind of mediocre. We're inspired on this mobile armor, but I don't care much about the mobile armor. More interested in the power, battle suits, and things, but we don't have enough the alloys or crystals for that. Plasma's almost up too. Let's maybe go for the Andromedon next. I As guess. initially speculated by Shen. It does, in fact, appear that this creature is restricted to the confines of its own hulking environmental suit. Unfortunately for our troops, the suit itself is a powerful physical threat, regardless of the operator's status, as we learned with some astonishment in the field. Working at the Advent Clinics, I saw medical breakthroughs that would have been considered nothing short of miraculous at any time before the alien's arrival. The elderly and infirm so revitalized with a single treatment that they were often brought to tears. It's a powerful, powerful thing the aliens have developed, perhaps their most insidious creation of all. For my part in it, I remain deeply conflicted. He wants his advent burgers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is getting close. Gas grenades are up. Training complete. Don't need to worry about that. We've got uh, New Brazil. Yeah, we can put you on um, maybe... Supply. Close. Together, we have succeeded nice. in our task. So, Agathon gets even better. Let's see what we can do with our team here. What have we got left? Um, locate Raider HQ is kind of scary. After what I saw last time. An aim boost is uh, nice. 23 ability points is really nice. Um, recover alien loot, we could probably use that too. 
Although we would lose, if we want to negate soldier risk there, getting a bunch of supplies in four days, that's kind of nice because we're always struggling with supplies. Smile Gang and probably somebody else can go on that mission. Smile Gang actually leveled up. Let's we'll take a look at him. He's not somebody we really run with very often, and I can't remember quite why. <laughs> he's one of the people we send on missions more than anything else. Because his aim is pretty low, and he's just standard. Mobility's okay. Health is okay. Uh, we were kind of running him up and down here. Uh, up close and personal, he dashes in and blows them away. So he's actually pretty decent. Next, we'll probably get him untouchable. we got up here that could go with him. Juggernaut is good. Um, he should run with Tina Hunter just because they're so powerful together. So we'll send him here maybe for the chance of low failure. Although we would like somebody good to infiltrate here too. But I, I'm gonna go we'll ahead get and send the him. job done. Don't worry, Commander. made contact. We can start the infiltration very soon. They don't talk to us, not at each the other. The Elder's Hunter is after something in this area. Located. Here we found new areas here. Will recovery and also just 30% faster. We don't really have will problems. All right. What do we got? Berserkers, purifiers, super mech. We're going to need to make sure we can go in there and hack that. We don't want sectopod. Yeah, shut that thing down. We're going to definitely need some people here. Mock squad, which is in everyone now again. No matter what I do, I can't get rid of them. Um... Just keep slaughtering them, they're kind of easy to kill. Right. Question is who is out on missions and who is coming back soon? Uh, we have infiltration up to 30, 132%. I would really like to send some of these top people on. Stuxnet is our big time hacker. Um, we could even send Dimension Breaker in too. He's got full override and so does Stuxnet, but. The two of them might be able to deal with the sectopod and things. I'm not sure. We get ten. We got three days left on Dynamo. He may not be able to go in. Uh, would like to send the other mech. Where is AI at here? AI. He's on that infiltration team. Smikey, I think, is going to be out. We could uh, blow the hyperbolic chamber. It's not hyperbolic. It's a, the hyper vitalize or whatever and bring back Brick who's still 14 days out uh, because we have Agathon now we could send in and Agathon is not that bad um, where is he at I think he's that low maybe he is that low <laughs> yeah there he is he's got 78 so um, he's good at suppressing. He's he's got the um, soldier AP. He's a genius, so sending him in is a pretty big deal. Later, uh, he can get low profile, um, as well, so that he gets partial cover. Can count as full, so he can stay with brick, you know, really close the entire time.
Hit and run is not... Ugh, can you imagine hitting and running with that big gun? That would be pretty funny. Danger zone is always kind of nice because he does do the suppression. Um... I, I don't know, demolition is kind of a... I feel like it's kind of a waste, but... Hill zone is going to be nice for him. Hill zone, traverse... He, he's got a good thing here. A demolition... I mean, he, he can suppress, you know, and just suppress them, and then he's get all this bonus to suppressing. So see, it's like this. If Say somebody's behind a high cover, and it's a really hard shot for the entire team. Well, he can lock down, so he gets a bonus to hit them if they do anything, right? Then he gets a bonus damage if they attempt to move. So if they move, he gets a plus to hit them. And then he's going to have a chance to crit on them. He gets plus 10 aim on Overwatch, but he's also uh, other reaction and other reactions. So he's got a plus 10 chance no matter what um, if he's trying to do that. Then, um, so if they shoot, he's going to shoot at them. If they move, he's going to shoot at them. Plus they, they are suffering under his Overwatch. So like Demolition, if he takes that, he blows away their cover, and then he wasted all of that, now he's done. You know, he, he's lost all of his uh, other skills. And I mean, somebody else could, you know, finish him off. So it's like, if there's only one enemy, that's fine, I guess. But, um... With Chain Shot, he's got an open chance to hit somebody, if he's got a good shot. He actually gets to take two shots at them with a minus 10 aim, and he's got pretty good aim. So if he gets a good opportunity, he could take the chain shot. Um, or the other option, I can, of course, I guess, is an, a cone-based attack, <laughs> which I'm never a fan of, unless it's a really long. I'm not sure the range on that doesn't say. Reduces their mobility is always a nice thing when you've got people trying to flank you. So I don't know. Demolition, it's nice to expose the target and have the rest of the team wipe them out. And Brick is in Overwatch, so he'll get the free shot and, and be able to hit and then move on. So it might be good just to have him do that so that he can support Brick. I'm not sure. This is just a thought. Um, I would like for this other team to come back. Let's see where they're at right now ticking. Three hours. So we're gonna run this in the next mission because they're not gonna get any further than this. We got the Archon King here. We got a pretty good team going in against that guy. A uh, very strong group, and I think uh, Harris is leading it actually. So I was kind of wondering where he was when I was putting together the team before, and then there he is. Uh, he's actually pretty decent. 74 aim. He's pretty low. He's only a second lieutenant, but he is a genius, so he's gonna be a tough one. And he's going the same route as Brick, so he's going to look like Brick, I think, down the road. Um, but he's going to be a genius, just like Brick, so we may give him some other stuff to deal with, too. Maybe even some um, pistol stuff. Yay! <laughs> Pistols! Yeah! Uh, we'll see. All right. Thanks for joining. Have a great day. And I'll catch you in the next episode when we are running here to ambush enemy troops and try to knock down their strength in this area. See you next time.